What's going on, everyone? Happy Monday to everyone. Hopefully, everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy. Hopefully, if you had to take a COVID test, it came up negative. But if you did test positive, I hope you have a full and speedy recovery with no long COVID issues. Yes, it's time for the Monday edition of the pandemic update for Monday, October 2nd, 2023. We're doing things a little bit differently today. Number one, I'm not sharing my screen. Number two, I'm in a different room in the house. I'm in the living room today. Um, I received a package yesterday. We'll get to this little package in a moment. It's something I've been expecting in the mail, something I feel, eh, why not share with you guys? Uh, first off, if you've been following me on Twitter, you know that uh, I've been having some issues lately. Well, I've developed a new issue. Both of my ears now, for whatever reason, feel like they're completely clogged up, stuffed. Uh, like there's pressure building up it's just constantly there don't know what this is about i got a feeling it's been going on for a week now i got a feeling it's time to call the doctor you also may notice my throat or my voice sounds a little bit congested this morning we woke up with some of our worst post nasal drip that i've ever had now that's something i dealt with prior to long covid on a very not so severe level I would get it, but I wouldn't get it terribly bad. And since COVID, you know, it gets worse. This morning was our worst bout of that ever. Woke up the first time at six o'clock, throat felt messed up. I said, you know what? I'm not getting up. I'm not going to work today. I'm going to go back to sleep. I was still very tired. Went back to sleep, woke up again. Well, hello, surprise. It was 10 o'clock in the morning. I was like, oh, wow, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. And my throat was so clogged up. I had no voice this morning. It's amazing how the voice comes back. Coffee and now water really helps that. Um, so I did take a COVID test this morning, right here. Came up negative, I would show it to you now, but I took this test about two hours ago. It's a little wonky looking right now. I'm not trusting this test. I mean, ah, what the heck, I'll show it to you. It's coming up with a whole bunch of nonsense on there. Yeah, it was initially just one straight line, and now that it's been two hours, it looks screwed up. There's like three lines and a black thing in there now. Yeah, don't know what that's all about. So I am going to be testing again tomorrow morning. And as you can hear, I still sound congested. Anywho, with COVID in mind, what's something that we have to keep using? You're probably guessing. Yes, I don't have one on right now. Something that we keep using. Well, I just got my uh, fresh supply of them in. And that is mask. I just got 50 more masks in from Medic Pro N95. I only use N95 or higher. In the very early days of the pandemic, before I was actually educated, believe it or not, me, of all people, I would use cloth. Then I used these uh, blue surgical masks. And then uh, within time, I switched over to N95 thanks to Twitter. I got educated. I got educated real quick when I wanted to start sharing my side of the story on Twitter. And I started wearing N95 mask, and I have never turned back since. And the only thing I would ever do from here on out is, potentially maybe down the line, upgrade my mask to even higher. I know people that wear higher quality masks than N95, and who knows, maybe it's my turn to do that. These are real simple. I got these, this is a package of 50 inside this bag. I'll show you here. Let's see here, a lot of masks in here. Like I said, it's supposed to be a package of 50. You get the idea here. I'm not going to make a mess and get them all over the place. Although, I, there I go. I just made a mess. <laughs> but the point is, um, they run for about, I think this cost uh, 60 something dollars if you include tax, maybe around $65. And a package of 50 masks, that'll last me a few months, believe it or not. I change out my mask every so many days. Sometimes, depends on how much I go out. If I don't go out much, a mask will last me a week. If I go out a lot, I have to use multiple masks a week. And it just depends on the quality of the mask. Now, I have had a slight issue with the uh, Medic Pro mask. It doesn't happen that often. Sometimes I'll take a mask like this. I'll show you. Open it up and watch what happens. Now, you can see this may appear to be fine. Every once in a while, you'll get one where when you take the mask out of the bag uh, or out of the packaging wrap, these are all individually wrapped, by the way. When you take it out of the package, 
Sometimes it'll be ripped on the side. I don't know what that is. And it'll just, you know, as soon as you put it on your head, it'll rip off. But see, these are so easy to use. It's so easy to use a mask. And I'm noticing here the straps are a little different this time around. And you can see, there you go. Voila, so simple. Why more people will not wear one of these to prevent the spread of COVID is beyond me. This doesn't bother me at all. Do I have that ear issue still right now? Yes. And guess what? It's not affecting that at all. What might have affected is if I had my headset on today and we were recording upstairs. I don't know. Maybe we'll go back to one of those recordings tomorrow. But you can see it is so simple to put a mask on. Doesn't bother me. It's not a risk to your health. Some people say, oh, wearing a mask is going to damage your immune system. That's a bunch of hogwash. I masked the whole time my dad had COVID. And as far as I know, I was negative through these. I did not catch COVID. I still suspect maybe I might have been, I had an asymptomatic case. I don't know because of this ear issue popping up at around the same time. It's really strange. But the point is, if I had not masked while he was um, positive with COVID, I would have been exposed to a high viral load and definitely would have come up clear positive on a rapid test and I'd probably still have symptoms to this day because he only tested negative. What is this? We're going on a week now that he's been negative and he still is negative. But uh, let's see, what else do I have for you guys today? Oh yes, BNO released their weekly numbers yesterday and eh, not good. Still over 250,000 cases in the country. I think most of them are like, some of them are PCR, some of them are rapids, but remember the rapids don't really get reported on. Now, this is across the whole country. Some of it they do an estimate on. But the point I'm trying to make here is that even with such little testing right now, testing is so low, there were still 250,000 cases found here in the United States, which is just truly astonishing. Uh, New York State's still at elevated levels. We're watching what's happening out west. Um, so far, no new COVID positives today. We did see uh, just yesterday, New Zealand prime minister did test positive and they didn't use the phrase, oh, it's mild. They didn't use that term like the majority, 99% of the politicians here in the United States use. And we do know that there was a mayor in a town in Indiana that uh, tested positive and had to be hospitalized. I'm now hearing that he has been released from the hospital so that is some good news things to watch out for this week we're going to be looking to see if new york state hospitalizations go up any higher we're going to be looking to see if anywhere else in the country should start to go up again the thinking is that uh levels will continue to drop a little bit in the united states it's not going to be just a straight down but uh level covid levels will drop some and at some point whether it's in october whether it's post Halloween, maybe it's November, eventually another wave will set in and that will probably carry us into the winter wave. The previous wave lasted, what was it, roughly about 13 weeks, I think it was. So the next wave that we're talking about, if you do the math, 13 weeks, let's just say it starts in November, that's gonna take us into the holidays. It's gonna take us into the winter months. And hopefully after the winter months, you know, after maybe middle of January, we then have our long-term dropping like we saw this past spring. But who knows, COVID, you know, it always has a bag of tricks. It always throws us a curveball with these new variants. There's still speculation what Piora BA 2.86 is going to do. I mean, we don't know. We're still trying to learn about it. No one can say definite if that's ever going to cause a wave at some point. Uh, the next variant I'm watching is HV.1. There's another HV out there now as well. That's been increasing HV.1. So maybe eventually that becomes a wave. Right now, the dominant strain in the United States is EG.5. Alrighty, folks, that's really all I have for today. Again, even if you feel like you just have allergies, or in my case, post nasal drip, test, test again. I'm going to test again tomorrow morning. I don't necessarily buy these. Uh, rapid test. I mean, the, the results from them. Again, I like to think that when my dad had COVID, I was negative. But you know what? 
there's a possibility I had an asymptomatic case. And let me just explain something before we end this. Asymptomatic is very important. People say, oh, they're just trying to find positives. There's, well, no. Asymptomatic can still spread transmission as well. If you have an asymptomatic, let's just say it comes up positive on rapid for asymptomatic or PCR. Guess what? You need to be masking just like everybody else, even if you don't have COVID. Why? Because asymptomatic spread is real. If someone doesn't have uh, symptoms, but they're asymptomatic positive, see how I'm breathing there? I can still be breathing COVID into the air, and that can infect someone. So, yes, that's something that we have to pay attention about. But there's another wild card with it. There's actually a couple studies that show even if you have an asymptomatic case of COVID, you could still have long-term issues or you could still develop long COVID. And for someone like myself who already has long COVID, that's concerning and something I'm going to have to watch out for. So, yes, I have this ear issue that's going on. Like if I go like this, that actually makes it feel better. If I stop, it's like, Ugh, there's the pressure again. It's really weird. Hard to explain. It's almost like swimmer's ear. And then I'm sure you can hear it in my voice. I'm congested. This is continuing from the post-nasal drip this morning. It's also fall allergy season, so I'm sure that's coming into the mix as well. We're going to have unusually warm weather here in Philly this week. It's I'm predicting it's going to get to 85 degrees uh, a couple days this week. So, yeah, that happened in the fall with leaves starting to get ready to come off the trees. Ragweed. It's probably going to go up again, even though we just had rain. So, yeah, all these issues, plus potentially, you know, long COVID issues. It just all adds up. It's not fun. It's not fun. That's why it's very important you mask. I mean, the mask is not just good for COVID. It's good for a lot of things. I've used masks for doing landscaping, gardening, cutting grass. Uh, allergies, I just mentioned. You know, the mask is good for allergies. And if you feel you're developing allergies, once again, by all means, take one of these rapid tests for COVID. I've seen some tweets over the weekend. People saying, oh, I just, you know, I'm starting to feel a scratchy throat. Maybe it's my allergies. But let me test just to be sure. Positive, it's COVID. It happens. There's a television meteorologist here. It just happened with, with very sad to see. But alrighty, guys, that does it for me today. My voice is about worn out now. I'm sure you can hear it. And uh, I will see you all again next time. Until I see you all again next time, stay safe, everyone. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, well, maybe my better content where my voice is not scratchy. Um, by all means, subscribe to my channel down below and share this content with your friends. All right. See you all again next time. Have a great afternoon, everyone.